What is Heroku? Heroku is a cloud app program that lets you build applications in almost any language. One of the first cloud platforms, Heroku has been in development since June 2007 when it supported only the Ruby programming language, but now supports Java, Node.js, Python, PHP, and more. Why do we choose Heroku over other cloud platforms? Because it's free for non-commercial apps such as proof of concept, MVPs, and personal projects. Plus, with a rapid development, Heroku offers you a ready-to-use environment which allows you to push your code and make a few configuration changes to get your application running. Talk about Heroku, we have many, many topics, and one video couldn't fully cover all of them. To know more information about Heroku platform, find this playlist on my channel. I guarantee you will have a lot of useful information about Heroku Cloud Platform. The first step to start with the Heroku is creating a Heroku account. It should be easy, only a few clicks and no credit card required. I will guide you step by step and at the end of this video, you will be able to deploy your first app to Heroku. But before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of my video uploads. Now, the first thing we need to do is to Google with the keyword Heroku. We choose the first one, the Heroku homepage. Visit Heroku.com. As you can see here, where Heroku supports Java, Node.js, Scala, Closure, Python, PHP, and Go, Heroku also provides a COI, command line interface, so it will be less painful to deploy and get an application running with the Heroku platform. Last but not least, because we haven't logged in yet, we will see the sign up option. You can click to this button or click on this one on the top right. I click on the sign up for free button. We will be redirected to the sign up page. You need to fill up this form in order to create a Heroku account. We start with the first name. Write your name here. For me, it's Harry. Then fill the email address. Remember to use a real email because this email will be your username to log in to Heroku. We no need to provide a company name. Choose your country with the option development language. I choose no chance the programming language I'm more familiar with. If you're not sure about your primary language, Pick a random one, we can change it after creating a Heroku account, and I will show you how to do it at the later part of this video. Finally, hit the security check. Then the create account button. You will see a message like this. We need to confirm our email address. So open our email. I use a Gmail and I already logged in to this Gmail, it takes a while to receive the Heroku email, so be patient. If you do not receive the confirmation message within a few minutes of signing up, please check your spam folder just in case the confirmation email got delivery there instead of your inbox. The Heroku confirmation email will look like this. Inside it is a link to activate your account. Click on this link. The next step is to set up a password for your Heroku account. A Heroku password must have at least 8 characters, contain letters, numbers, and symbols. Fill in your password at this input. Hit the password button. We almost created a Heroku account successfully. Click on the proceed button. This is the Heroku main page a dashboard to manage all the Heroku applications you created. The first time you visit this page, you need to agree with the terms and services of using Heroku. 
scroll to the end then click on the accept button now let's create your first Heroku app